Hello and welcome to the NAMM Show 2019. I am with Kevin Ryan of Ryan Guitars, and uh, yeah, it's been an amazing show for you, right? Yeah, it's been great. We, uh, we're having a blast and uh, losing our voices, and, and uh, but it's, it's been great. And the cold starting to kick in, the voice is starting to That's right. Out a That's bit. right. But we were just saying that you must be so excited with the way everything is. It, the we, we're, you we are like little kids right now. I mean, yeah. obviously building guitars is difficult, but rewarding, and this is this is kind of sort of uh, new territory for us taking this kind of an instrument and and building with a small team so I mean we're yeah we're over the moon how things are going yeah and so what have you, you can, some, of the, some of the stuff you're exhibiting at this show is I mean it's always jaw dropping but some of the inlay work and the oh, words yeah, that yeah. you've got it's just absolutely amazing we're, we're kind of trying to thread the needle I mean realize that uh, the the average buyer I mean they they love the ornamentation yeah. and so we're trying to make that just such an integrated part of the guitar and for instance here with the two Larry Robinson inlays yeah. we love working with him I, I mean, mean he that. did the millionth Martin so yeah. he's you know he's Larry he's Larry yeah, Robinson yeah, 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 yeah. so we, we love doing this kind of thing and uh, but also uh, with some of the new woods uh, reacting to the new realities of, uh, of the CITES environment yeah, and so we're uh, we're excited to be able to we don't think that we're pioneering some of these things although maybe we are but uh, some of the, the new woods that are that we can ship yeah like for instance this here I mean, is, this is uh, unbelievable Look yeah I mean that it's one of those guitars so where you know I probably shouldn't say this but I think well, wait a minute I don't want to sell this yeah, one I want this one did you find you must find that all the time when you're making these things it's, and, you, and yes. at the end when you find you sort of strum it or finger pick it for the first it's, time you must be like wow it's yeah it's it's absolutely the case and uh, and of course we always think uh well, we can build them another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't. But um, it's what's been really exciting for us, obviously. We started working together uh, last year. Yeah, we yeah. did our first interview at last year's NAMM show. Yeah. Um, and just the reaction to the customers for the North American guitar um, and just how we just, honestly, getting asked. So we had like a guy, we put a guitar on our website at like nine in the morning and it is sold by oh, two man. in the afternoon. Which we, is we love to hear amazing. that because, I mean, it, it's, it's encouraging to us because you know we live in our little shop world and, and you know, we're sawdust. <laughs> yeah we're covered in sawdust and and uh, and so we, we, when we, we think oh we, we love these things and you know and when they go out there and the world responds like it does and we think oh it's it's sort of validating but it, it also means that well we we want to we want to have these in the hands of everybody that wants them yeah and so that's kind of you know what drives us that passion but yeah it's encouraging and and obviously we hear from you, oh, when you put it on the website and it's sold, and then, oh man, it means, you know, we get to keep doing what we love to do. So, well, that's it. it's and amazing. it's just great. It's just so good working with you guys uh, because it's, you know, being able to part with, partner with somebody that you guys are passionate like we are. And this just transcends business. This is about the passion of instruments like this. And so it's, yeah, it's great. Well, I think what, what's lovely about what you have, especially with your dealer network, and you can see it online, obviously we live in a world but there's just so much great content being put up, so many yeah, great players yeah. demonstrating your instruments. Yeah, that's right. But you've got such a, you know, it feels like we're all part of a family and we're yeah. all, you know, we walking around and seeing guitars going to all these beautiful, amazing dealers. Yeah. That must be a lovely, lovely Well, thing. It's, it's great because, you know, we see the dealers as, you know, they're, they're, they're like part of the family now. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, this is, we're all together. And so we're, you know, obviously we're real picky about that. Because it's you, you kind of want dealers that you'd have over for dinner. Yeah. And so we we, we feel real fortunate that we've been able to create that uh, that kind of an environment. So working with the dealers like that, like you guys and and uh, some of the folks here, it's just been it, it it makes it like building the guitar for us. The guitar it's difficult, but this is we love this. We, this is fun, and working with the right dealers makes it fun and makes it rewarding. Yeah, absolutely. And so, uh, out of all, I'm going to put you on put you on the spot here. Yeah. Out of all the guitars here, I mean, you've got some amazing uh, Koa. Yeah, got yeah, yeah. Macassa uh -huh. Ebony. I mean, what would you say if you could pick one guitar that's on the stand right yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. So this is a difficult one because I'm partial to our Nightingale model. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me too. That, that's the one that I that I think ultimately 
somehow I caught lightning in a bottle on that, at least for my taste. Yeah. But I gotta say, because of this wood, yeah, yeah. I'm you know after 30 years of doing this, I'm still not jaded to. Uh, I'm a, kind of a wood junkie, so yeah. I don't you know you won't find me saying, oh yeah, I've seen that. I'm I, you know I've seen that. No, I look at this wood and I think, are you kidding? I, I, I want this. I mean, every guitar guy is going to know, yeah, I know Jack Larry Fields. So uh, well, I'm pretty excited about that uh, because of the wood. Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, the Nightingale, I mean, this is this is crazy. I don't even have one of my own guitars. What? Yeah, I mean, I've built, a couple times I've built one. Okay, I need one. I want one. Yeah. And then so he says, oh, well, I want that. Well, no, it's... And then you have to build another one. So, yeah, 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 I can build another. <laughs> but uh, it would be a night. Gale that I would probably build for myself yeah. uh, just because I like this uh, it seems real versatile and yeah, but it's such a versatile yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. and I like you know one of the things that went into the DNA of the Nightingale it was uh, originally we were working with Pierre Vincent on this and that was the basis yeah. for the, the Pierre Vincent signature model back in the day but what I loved about it was that being able to in fact I could kind of sort of demonstrate it here the ergonomics of it, um, we wanted a, a tighter waist and a higher waist, and that then that creates a, a, a certain visual impact of the guitar. But ergonomically, what that meant was the waist being higher and tighter means that the guitar effectively moves over and down, and then you throw in the bevel, and all of a sudden, oh, this feels like a small, intimate guitar, yeah, but yeah, you've got absolutely. the deeper bout here. Uh, and that's one of the, I guess, one of the other things worth saying about the ergonomics of it. Is we wanted the deeper body because that there, there's no other way to get certain horsepower Absolutely. in the base. Good projection. It would just yeah. You, you, you need that, Absolutely. and yet we don't want the whole thing to be deep because then now it's not comfortable yeah, yeah, yeah. anymore. So we have a full inch differential between the tail block and the head block. That's well, now that creates another issue now because well that's cool, but now the thing looks like a wedge. So so our answer to that was well let's just arch the back radically, which we did. And then, I don't know, you see on the camera here, just got this kind of this oh, sexy, yeah, it's so sexy arch yeah. here. But uh, all that, I mean, all that, th those years and, and months and all the, the prototyping, just so the player could say, it's so it's comfortable. It's Do you know, simple. the first um, night together that we ever sold was actually a pre-owned uh, Brazilian Rosewood. Oh, okay. And it was a, a really lovely client of ours. And... Uh, he, I remember delivering it to us, and it was the, the, for the first note, it literally sounded like a piano. And he just said, This guitar's a piano, it's like a piano. Uh, you make it my day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, we, we have a slightly longer scale length, it kind of achieves that. I think part of it is the deeper body makes a difference. But, you know, there's no, I think there's no one silver bullet that yeah. means everything. It's just accumulation of a lot of little things. I mean, our philosophy has been weight is the enemy. Um, and so anything we can do to get rid of weight, the EO bracing, the honeycomb, all that stuff is that, designed. Yeah, I mean, it just goes through rigorous yeah, design yeah. testing. And, but at the end of the day, we want weight off the guitar yeah. and then to let the guitar, let the let the player just hear the yeah. voice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so we well, we've go. got some uh, super exciting builds in the process. Uh, and also, I know you uh, there's do. a couple of guitars here that, we're, uh, that I've got my eye on that uh, hopefully we'll be bringing back to the North American Guitar Showroom. Um, but just uh, from, from myself, I want to say it's such an honor to represent you and your beautiful uh, in Kind of you to say so. It's an honor for us to be working with you, Ben. Thank you so much. Uh, so for more information on Kevin Ryan and Ryan Guitars, please do get in touch. And for more information on the finest Luthierville instruments, please do subscribe to this channel. Thanks. <laughs>